Hi there, welcome back to the 30 second video learn excel from Karpakam. In this video I am going to show you how to mask numbers using two different functions. I am going to show you one using a concatenate function, the other one using a replace function. You might be wondering what exactly masking number is. I am sure all of us have gone through and we want to know how they are doing it. This is called as masking number. See for example, in the B column I have got the contact numbers here and in the E column let's say I have got the PAN card numbers here. In this case scenario, I just want to hide the first six digits or the last six digits. In this case scenario, I just want to hide the in between numbers, the numbers alone. This predominantly happens with Amazon and Flipkart when we complete a purchase. They ask us to enter the numericals of our PAN card. In this case scenario, when we have forgotten our password, either with Microsoft or with the Gmail, they ask us to enter the last four digits. Whichever way you want, you can do it and I'm going to show you how to do it. First, I'm going to show you how to use it with the concatenate function. The kind of a function what I'm going to use, be it a concatenate or replace or a write function, all are text functions. Let me show you. When you go to text, you can find concatenate function. Soon after concatenate, you can see replace and a write function. The main aim of concatenate function is to join the text together. And concatenate can join up to 30 numbers or 30 text together and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. I'm going to the cell wherever I want this particular area to be applicable equal to n. When you type con it's going to fetch you all the functions available. Press tab. And what is that I want to do here? I want to mask the number, but how many numbers do I want to mask? Let's say I want to mask the first six numbers. And what is the character I'm going to use? Let's say I'm going to use only the stars. So six times I'm going to use the star double quotes. Why are we using a double quotes for a concatenate function? Especially whenever we use any kind of a string and we want Excel to consider it as a string and not as a number, we always use it in a double quotes comma. Now that we have completed the string, now we have to extract the last four digits number and I'm going to use a function called as a write function. When I open the write, it's going to ask me what is the text. My text lies in B7, comma, how many number of characters I'm in need of. I'm going to say the last four digits only I want, which means when you look into this particular contact number, the last four digits is 5660. It's going to fetch me and I'm going to show it to you. When I hit enter, you can see the number is already masked. First six digits are masked. Going back and double clicking at the pointer. For all the number, we have masked the number. You can do it for either the last two digit number or the last four digit number. So for example, in this case scenario, I'm just going to say do it for the last two digit number. When I hit enter, you can see it has taken for the last two digit, but be careful. In this case scenario, you have already inserted six times asterisk and you have told Excel to fetch in two characters, which means first six character it has masked and two characters it has left in between five, six and it has taken only for six, zero. So always pretty be careful whatever you're going to do. I'm going back and doing it for here. Enter. And you can see the number is masked. You may be coming with a question. When you're using a write function, how can you bring it in a mid? How can you mask the text in the mid of a particular text? You can do this and you may be saying use a mid function. Mid function is not going to exactly fit your result and I'm going to use yet another simple formula. In this case scenario, I'm using a replace function. The replace function helps you to replace your old text and bring in a new text. First, where is the old text? Old text is in B7, comma. What is the starting number? When you look into this particular text, ASD is the three character, hyphen is the fourth one, and I want the starting number from 500 onwards only for the numbering. So the number starts at fifth, comma. How many number of characters? I want it only for the numbers. 500 is a three digit. When you look into all this, it's all three in number. You can see 500, 7, 89, 432. It's a all three digit number. I'm going to specify it's a three digit comma. What is the new text I want to replace instead of 500, 789? What is that I want to replace? Replace it with asterisk, double quotes, close the bracket and hit enter. You can see now that it is done. And you may be asking, is it a possibility that or whenever I want to insert the asterisk, is it that I have to do it mandatory? I'm going to show you another simple method with the same replace function. REP, it has got you the function tab, old text, comma, 
what is the starting number? 5 is the starting number because BDR is 3 character, hyphen is the fourth one and fifth character is 7. Starting from 7, 8, 9 I need it. So fifth character, comma, for how many numbers? 3 number, comma. In this case scenario, instead of typing the asterisk, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a function called repeat. The repeat gives you a number of times any number of text can be inserted. And what is the text I want to insert here? I want to use asterisk here. Asterisk, double quotes, comma. How many number of times? In this case scenario, the number is 3. 3 times I want it to be inserted. 3, close to bracket. Again, close to bracket. Hit enter. Again, in this case scenario, it happens. When you look at both the formula here, in this case scenario, I have used 3 times asterisk. Whereas in this case scenario, I have used only one time asterisk. I have instructed Excel do a repeat function and insert three times asterisks to it. Yes, it is very simple. And I double click at the pointer, you can see the numbers are masked. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos. See you soon.